كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى You will manipulate them and basically do with them what you want to do. You want to give people freedom and liberty and justice, teach them language. And if we're English speakers, teach them English. Malcolm X, al Haj Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. I love him. He's the one who brought me to Islam. How could I not love him? Malcolm read the dictionary from A to Z. Because in prison he knew, I've got to get an education. I've got to be able to use this language the way other people use it. And he began with what? Hard work. <laughs> the first word in the dictionary, A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. Aardvark, which is a little type of anteater. He said, I'll never forget about aardvark. It's the first word I learned. Language. Language is essential to thought. Okay, so Arabic is an amazing language. And it is old. And every time that we look at ancient languages, and we could give some names, but you always find that the older the language is, the richer it is, the more poetic it is, the more beautiful it is. Okay, so then what was the nature of the people that spoke that language? They had intellect. They had virtue. They had good qualities. So maybe we should re-talk, maybe we should rethink about the old Stone Age again. And maybe we should just be honest that, look, we don't have much evidence about the people back then, so let's be careful in what we say. But this is not the way that things work, because people have objectives. People have ideologies. They have tendencies. So this is very important. You know, you take something like the Big Bang Theory. All of you have heard about the Big Bang Theory. It's like, what an ugly name for a beautiful theory. The Big Bang Theory is when astronomers learning about the way that light shows up in telescopes were able to see that this amazing universe around us is equidistant from a center and that the further out you go, the faster it goes. Faster than the speed of light? What does that mean? What does that mean about space and time? We could talk about that because like, you know, they're not really able to deal with that. Believe me, they're not. It's like, okay, like, didn't you reach the end of your rope? Haven't you now discovered something that you can't really swallow? And then they say that it all goes back to a tiny point which wouldn't be as big as the point of a dot of my ink pen. And then it came from that. And of course, that had to be chaotic. Of course, that had to be random. No, that's not possible. None, random is not possible. Nothing happens by chance. Not possible, impossible. Yeah, like maybe you met your friend today in the mall and you didn't expect to do that. It was a chance from your standpoint, but Allah willed it to be. Okay, so we call this big bang, like big explosion. No, I'm sorry, that's not what, that's creation from nothing. What you saw here by very careful study is that Allah created this amazing universe as all ancient Jews and ancient Christians and Muslims believe from nothing. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أولم ير الذين كفروا أن السماوات والأرض كانتا رتقا ففتقناهما لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى